Number one, how do you ship a power hammer? It's easy. We use a freight broker to arrange a tractor trailer or box truck to bring the hammer right to your shop or home. If you don't have a loading dock, no problem. We can get a truck with a lift gate to set it on the ground for you. Once on the ground, the hammer only weighs 1,400 pounds and can be maneuvered into place by hand or with a small piece of equipment. Some people will hire a tow truck or rent a small tractor to move the hammer in place. So while every shipment is different, we will work with you to make sure you have the right tools for the job. Number two, how big of a compressor do I need for my hammer? Most shops can make use of a compressor anyways, and the power hammer is just one more compressed air tool to add in the line. While CFM is important, we find it easier to shop for compressors by horsepower. For the 65, we find most shops can use a 5 horsepower compressor that makes at least 90 psi of air. The 110 should be paired with a 5 horsepower compressor for a one-man forge to a 7.5 horsepower compressor for environments where production is the focus. The compressor for a 110 should make at least 110 psi of air. The 155 will run on a 7.5 horsepower compressor, but again, in production environments, it should be paired with a 10 horsepower compressor that makes 140 psi or greater. Number three, how big of a foundation is required for your hammer? It is a common misconception that a large isolated pad is required to mount our hammer. Our hammers have a large anvil whose mass is proportionate to the hammer head, so it dissipates the hammer's blow at the right time. This means that you only need a 4-inch slab to mount your hammer on. That's right, that's it. To protect your concrete from chipping or powdering, you should use silicon in conjunction with anchor bolts to make your hammer hit very hard and keep the vibrations from the hammer blow from going into your slab and further into your knees. Number 4. What dies will my new hammer come with? Each hammer comes with one of our 18 standard dies, which excludes custom dies and bowl dies. The dies you choose will ship with the hammer. The same dies can be used in all three sizes of hammers. Most shops order their hammers with combination forging dies or standard flat dies. As a second set, many shops choose the crown dies. Number 5. What size hammer should I buy? The 65 hammer is great for drawing out material up to one and a quarter inch square stock and even beyond. However, it lacks the stroke height of its two larger siblings, but is lighter, shorter, and uses less air. The 110 has more stroke and hits harder. This hammer will work one and one half inch square bar and beyond. It has a second valve that lets you control the bottom of the stroke as well as the top. This is good for top tools and some texturing. The 155 has the most daylight opening and comes with all the features, two valves, a clamping feature, and enough power to work one and three quarters inch, two inch square, and even more, all the while being able to hit a five inch tall top tool. In the end, you have to decide which hammer best fits your needs, but we can tell you that we sell more 110s than any other hammer. Thanks, and subscribe to keep up with what is new with Blue.